Alright guys, welcome back. So on today's episode, what we're going to be talking about is about our new microfiber range. We're going to be doing a walkthrough again, as promised, of each one of the individual products. And ever since it's launched, clearly the fan favourite seems to be the wheel mitt. So let's go. So the important thing to remember with the wheel mitt, it is a tool. So there's nothing complicated about it. You still have to pre-rinse the wheel like I already have. Yeah, and I've got our young wheels and the new Prezzo bottle with the labels. How sweet are these? They're just unbelievable. So I would still obviously treat the wheel as I normally would. There we go. Again, my favorite method is I am going to foam this with our developing wheel foam. Now, while the wheel foam and the Yum wheels is being activated by each other, let's talk a bit of a spec of obviously the wheel mitt. So again, some people can fit five fingers and three fingers. It just depends how big your hands are. I've got a four finger, I can even deal with two. I mean, three and two. Um, so, I mean, personally, I like it with a four finger configuration. So again, I would always recommend every time you do a new pass, just pre-rinse it. That way it obviously keeps the wheel mitt clean between passes. I just like to give it a squeeze out. So the wheel mitt, you can hit your faces with it like this. Obviously, if you can point, I've got my middle finger in there pointed up. So obviously I'm making a, a different type of surface area. So again, can you see just how perfect I can get that circle? So again, you can really get into like the really tight areas. Um, you can do the faces, whether you could do it with the back or with the front like this. It really is kind of up to you and depends how your hands work. Now, the beautiful thing about this is is you can actually get in between or at the back of the spokes. Now, a lot of people seem to avoid the back of the spokes. One, because they haven't got the right tools and equipment, or they're just a little bit kind of uneducated because they just start now within kind of their car washing, their personal car journey. Now, obviously behind the, the back of the spokes, the brake dust, like on this car, AMG, the back wheel itself is non-carbon ceramic, the fronts are, hence why I'm doing the back wheel. Now the, the brake dust from the AMG is very, very corrosive. And if you don't get it off, like I am now, it's going to build up at the back of the wheel. Now I bet you any money, if you ask, most people have very rarely or never cleaned behind their spokes. Now again, it's better to maintain something and prevent it rather than to fix it. And what I mean by fixing is taking your wheels off and doing a huge detail if it's fixable. And if it's not fixable, we all know where that goes. It goes into the whole respray job of the wheel. So as you've seen, I've, as I've just been talking to you about the spec, the wheel is pretty much done. Now what I like to do as well with the wheel mitt is the plastic part of the rear arch liner. I gave our fingers really deep in there where a lot of people seem to miss as well and that's pretty much it if your wheels allow it you can even go again i've just flipped around you can even go as far as into the barrel of the wheel obviously you can't get very far anyway i would recommend our wheel woolly for this but still the first i would say third maybe even a quarter you can reach into it like this and you can get into all the areas pretty much know the tool can get to so over the years, I've grown to obviously adore the wheel mitt kind of method. Um, and that is because with my personal cars, I've had all sorts of wheel designs, open spoke, really tightly spoked wheels. Um, of course, this works even better the wider the spokes or the bigger the wheels because you can just look, ram your hand right in there and there's no kind of restrictions for you. And I've got big hands. so. I've kind of grown to love this method. Obviously, when you're over foaming the wheels, 
on top of the yum wheels obviously the the formulation itself is just perfectly beautiful when you add something like a wheel mitt into the configuration of your wheel clean regimen it's just perfect so again it's lamb wool perfect enough to obviously kind of fit around your hands it's not machine washable no wool is and honestly i wouldn't recommend you try it because i did try it and the wash machine will literally just eat everything up and destroy it so i would just hand wash this after every time you do your four wheels um, and just air dry as normal now what i would definitely recommend is to get a secondary one of these for the door jam so as you can see when it's open or when the door's open you can literally get your wheel mitt and go boom so it could be like a, a dedicated wash media for your door jams you can even use this in engine bays and stuff like that so obviously this has now been live for around two weeks and these have been absolutely flying because obviously people once saw the development of this they've seen the hints and the tips starting as of last year and I, I think people have I've just been queuing up for the first um, couple of thousand of them so if you haven't got yourself one of these I would recommend highly go and pick yourself one of them obviously you're going to have an unbelievable experience like you always are but this is part of the new microfiber range which again is being built from the ground up and it's designed to give you the utmost user experience that you can ever have so I hope you've liked this video guys and obviously as always I'll see you on the next one